What is superior cluneal neuralgia? And what is superior cluneal nerve surgery? That's a mouthful, right? Those are a lot of words, some of which you may or may not recognize, right? So let's make it simpler. What is failed back syndrome? Failed back syndrome, that's what happens when you have this back pain and you've undergone seemingly every treatment under the sun and you still have pain. You go through physical therapy, it doesn't help. You go through occupational therapy, it doesn't help. You go to see the chiropractor, it doesn't help. You finally get an MRI and the MRI doesn't show anything wrong. At that point, it's gotta be one of the peripheral nerves. And in this case, which peripheral nerve are we talking about? We're talking about the superior cluneal nerves. These are not the nerves that come right out of the spinal cord, okay? These are different. These are much smaller nerves. They branch from some of the nerves that come out of the spinal cord, and they come up over the rim of the pelvis, and they're responsible for sensation. They're responsible for telling your brain what you feel in your lower back. Those nerves can get injured any of a number of different ways uh, and they can cause chronic pain. We figure it out by turning those nerves off temporarily with a local anesthetic nerve block. You know, just like you might get at the dentist. We inject a local anesthetic, a numbing agent, to turn off those nerves. And if the pain goes away, then we know those nerves are responsible for the pain. We can go in there surgically and recreate the effect, the temporary effect from the injection permanently with surgery. Okay, that's what we do for the patients who have failed back syndrome who had a normal MRI. And so the spine surgeon does the surgery and you don't feel any better. Okay, you still have this horrible pain. And so your conclusion is, well, the spine surgery didn't work. I would say that that surgery likely was the right operation and it likely did do something, but it only addressed one problem when you might have actually had two problems. So the spine surgeon fixed the spine problem, but didn't know to identify the other problem that was responsible for some of your pain as well. And so in that case, it would be the superior cluneal nerves, okay, again, up at the top of the pelvis, that are responsible for pain, for the remaining pain in the lower back. What I typically recommend for my patients, if they've got back pain, and it turns out they've got some really abnormal findings on their MRI, I tell them, Go see your spine surgeon first. See what your spine surgeon has to say. And if the spine surgeon recommends that you undergo spine surgery, then I would recommend that you do that too. If you're still having pain after you've undergone your spine surgery, then that tells me you probably had two problems at the same time, and I'm happy to take care of that other problem. Mm -hmm.